cement that was around the fence post and stuff. Mm -hmm. He stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I would like the uh, uh, clerk, hold on one second. Did this wrong. Clerk, please call the roll. Supervisor Sweet? Here. Councilman Gerstner? Here. Councilman Schubach? Here. Councilman D'Angelo? Here. Thank you. So tonight we are uh, uh, very happy to have a uh, Eagle Scout candidate here, Sebastian Brown. You want to come forward and talk to the board about what you propose? My name is Sebastian Brand. I am from Troop 45, right in Warwick, here, and I'd like to propose my Eagle Scout project, which is mapping out the commonly used hiking and biking trails on Wickham, Wickham Woodlands Park. Now, I mean, I, I have a few drawn up here. I plan on putting three informational boards up. It's gonna be two two by fours with plexiglass ceiling, and it's gonna have a map of hopefully different trails that are used and their length. Uh, I'm gonna put one over by the railroad coming uh, into the park entrance over by the over by the railroad when coming in off of King's Highway. One over by the main parking lot that everybody parks in, and one in this corner down here when going over to the old shooting range. Uh, that's about it. Okay, um, any questions? No, good ideas, idea. thoughts? It's just, no, good like idea. just informational kiosks and, or, or, or an actual map of the... It's going to be what I plan on doing is going to be a map of the area, kind of similar to this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hopefully color coded, and each color is going to have be a different trail mm -hmm. with a different length. Also, something that I want to do is I'm going to have different trail markers that's going to have color co color coordinated in what mile you're on. So let's say you're on the yellow trail and mm -hmm. you're half a mile in, mm -hmm. you'll be there and you'll see the trail marker. A lot of people do walk around in there, so oh, yeah. it would be helpful. Especially probably, with COVID, I don't know where they're going. going out right? there recently. <laughs> what, what are you going to make the trail markers out of? Hmm? What are you going to make the trail markers out of? Uh, hopefully, tin. There's something metal that some that can be seen easily, and something that can be weather resistant that wouldn't rot, like wood. Okay. Uh, that's a good idea, especially. I mean, help EMS and. Everybody else out too, because I know they have a lot of trouble up in Cascade and stuff, and uh, I mean Appalachian too that are doing that. So it'd be very helpful, God. If somebody has emergency, they they can mark, tell them what they are: yellow, 2.5 miles, or whatever it is. That's that's very helpful. That's and good. what's your what's your time frame? Do you think? Hopefully, I'm, I want to start this. I'm going to start at least map creating the map as soon as I can, but putting in the actual information boards and the Trail markers I cannot do until the ground lightens up. Right. Okay. But so sometime this spring, summer. You're yeah, spring, thinking, summer, right. hopefully. Okay. Is, if this gets approved, I get all the documentation. Get done. all your paperwork done, yeah. <laughs> okay, so any uh, other uh, thoughts, uh, questions? Does DBW foresee any problems with mowing around or, or, or doing anything with yeah, it? Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right, so is the board in favor of supporting Mr. Yeah. Brand and his efforts? Well, I am, by all means, yes. yeah. I can put the idea. cedar poles and then put the metal on it. Maybe. Okay, there's an idea for you. Mm -hmm. All right, because cedar poles don't rot. They do, but they'll last 20, 30 years. Thank you. I will keep that in mind. Okay. You might have some blank signs, you know, aluminum, if you want to put trail markers on that also last forever. Okay, so what we'll do is I have your email. I'll put you in touch with Ben and the park. Uh, Commissioner Bill and you guys can work out details and they may be able to help you out on some of this. All right. Yep. All right. So you have our uh, support and approval, and whenever you need the paperwork signed, we're happy to do that. Uh, the only thing is, they recently released a new one, and I didn't know about it until today. So mm -hmm. maybe I can come in tomorrow with absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm here in the afternoon. I have to be in Newburgh in the morning, but I'll be here in the afternoon. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you. And thanks for your efforts and good luck on being a, a, a great eagle. Thank you. All right. Good job.
Okay, so let's get to accepting the minutes of February 25th and the special meeting of the 26th. Okay, so moved. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, correspondence is summarized on pages uh, one and two. I'm not sure this letter made it on the correspondence, but I, I just want to make the board aware. I received a letter from Ira Emanuel from Emanuel Law PC. This is in regards to the Village View Estates uh, subdivision and the annexation of the 0.6 acres. One of the residents had, had asked about would the developer put a restrictive covenant on the parcel? And this letter uh, said they represent Village View Estates. Um, and as shown on the maps presented to the board, a portion of the parcel would be used as a roadbed to be ultimately dedicated to the village to provide vehicular and pedestrian access to the larger subdivision parcel. That's the parcel they're developing in the village. All infrastructure, gas, electric, telephone, sanitary, sewage, drainage, public water will be located <laughs> within the roadbed. All as shown on the plans being reviewed by the Village of Warwick Planning Board and as may be ultimately approved by that board. The remainder of the parcel will be maintained. This is the 0.6 acres. The remainder of the parcel will be maintained as permanent open space as indicated on the subdivision plat. The petitioner is willing to impose a restrictive covenant to that effect on the subject 0.6 acre parcel. The restrictive covenant will also prohibit the installation of public utilities within the open space for the benefit of any other parcel of land. So the parcel behind mm -hmm. that's in the town right. that the yep. resident was concerned of. Yep. I did give everybody a copy, but I just don't think it made it into the minutes yet, but we will get it there because the clerk didn't get a copy of it. All right, so we'll put that in the record. We're not taking any action on that anyway this evening, but I wanted you to be aware of it, that they did respond to the request that we actually made that All evening. Right. That's good. Okay, so anybody, any other correspondence anybody wants to talk about? Uh, okay, so then let's uh, move right in. Let's, I don't see any visiting elected officials here tonight, so let's get right to reports and hear from Councilman D'Angelo. Okay, Chief, do you have anything? No, sir. Thank you. Okay, currently the Humane Society has uh, 75 animals, six dogs, uh, 59 cats, and two rabbits, and three guinea pigs, and they're all looking for permanent homes. Now, they have a, they're having a yearly membership drive is underway, and what's driving this is <clears throat> they rely on their membership to see through the latter part of this winter now because they're having, <coughs> excuse me, they have a lack of fundraising events, which makes the membership drive even more important this year, okay? So to become a member, you can visit their website at wvhumane.org and use how do I tab or visit the Facebook page at, at, the, at the Warwick Valley Humane Society. Senior membership is $25. Individual is only 50. And there's other categories to help them. Uh, and they can, they can send you a form if you call them at 986-2473. <coughs> Excuse me. And as I mentioned last month, they were also seeking vacancies for the board of directors for the member, from the membership. If you have a passion for animal welfare and can attend fundraisers raisers, and all directors meetings, either in person or via Zoom, uh, send us a letter, of, send them a letter of intent to WVHS, Post Office Box 61, Warwick, New York. And that's all I have. Thank, Thank you. you. Councilman Cole. Thank you. Well, the weather's turning nicer, so people are out uh, enjoying our parks more and more and a few things are starting to open up and uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and start talking about uh, the the cuts camp outdoor activities uh, as the restrictions gradually get get lifted uh, we hope to open up uh, some of the picnic areas and the outdoor facilities there uh, to the public uh, we're, get, we're, we're in the process of getting guidance from the Department of Health as to uh, the, the swimming pools, town's never had swimming pools before. It's kind of a new thing for us. We're gonna do whatever the Department of Health says, how many we can have in the pool and whatever, whatever other regulations uh, are allowed there. Of course, we're gonna have lifeguards. And uh, hopefully, uh, as things open up, you, you never, it's, it's difficult to, to, to say, okay, we're gonna open up the facility because you never know if there's gonna be a, an increase in COVID, the restrictions might go back on. 
and you know no, nobody nobody wants to book events you know that close uh, ahead of time you know you, usually some of these big events that happen at a place like cuts that people book that out like a year ahead of time so how do you how do you do that you just we have to do it a little bit conservatively this year and maybe play it by ear as things open up maybe we'll we will start opening up some of the facilities but as of uh, right now we're hoping uh, maybe the down by the lake picnic area the the pools when it gets warm enough probably still some ice on them uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens and uh, hopefully we're, it, we're going to make every effort to make uh, as much of that facility available to us this this year as we can great yeah super and uh, deputy commissioner Rowe did get me the information on pools from the health department today so i'll okay. pass that on to everybody great so they have it and we'll begin that process uh thank you so councilman gershner thank you mr supervisor um not much tonight just to let everybody know there are some um Dinner is still going on, corned beef and cabbage dinners. I believe Sugarloaf Firehouse is takeout only. Also, there's some fish dinners going around throughout the town. So check our Facebook, social media, they're out there. And uh, just wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. Stay safe, do your distancing, and uh, things are getting better, but just try to stay safe for your you and your family. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, work Fire Department's not doing their corned beef this year? Uh, I don't believe so. I haven't heard any from Excelsior's. I haven't seen that, no. I know Sugarloaf is having one, no. I believe, it's coming up, I think, maybe uh, Saturday, but they, you have, there's a, it's not, I saw a Facebook post, you have to call one of the gentlemen there and you get your tickets. And I think, Russ, there's a, a fish dinner going on, right, Russ, over at Pine yes, Island, uh, the on, Legion? Yes, on, on Saturday, you, it's a, it's a to-go only, take-out only, at the, at the Pine Island Legion. You can call in for tickets. Okay. And uh, it's either chicken or fish, and it goes from uh, 4 to 6 o'clock on Saturday, okay. you know, the 13th. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Schubach. Well, the town's been fairly busy. As long as we've been doing tree work, drainage, our house, town water, whatever. Road repair on Mission Line Road, State School Road, Sand Hill Road, Sand Top Town Line, Mountain Rock, doing vehicle maintenance, American repairs, hauling materials to the stockpile. That's about it. Well, the Union Cone Park opened, bathrooms closed. Yeah, we, well, we'll wait a little bit to get those open, I guess, until the weather breaks for sure. But uh, it's been nice last few days. Thank you. Attorney Myro? I have nothing to report. Town Clerk's report. Okay, we have a request for proposal to obtain the services of a consultant civil engineering firm from Region 8 LDSA, list to assist in preparing an application for funding the Bridge New York program to replace the South Street Bridge. That's correct, yep. HDR Engineering, HVEA Engineers, and Tectonic Engineering, and the last one was Stantec Consulting Services, Inc. Um, we also have for the month of February, the fees collected were $2,407.73, and the fees paid out were $1,130.84. All right, thank you. Appreciate that, Madam Clerk. All right, Supervisor's Report. Um, so for the month of February, the receipts for the Community Preservation Fund were $96,983.19. Brings the total in the fund to $4,240,625.88. Um, and so that was a, another good month for the fund.